Thank you very much, Curtis. Well, two Blackfeet Shoshone filmmakers are making a documentary about the issue of missing and murdered Native American women. They've been traveling all across the state of Montana, hosting free screenings of the movie that's called When They Were Here. MTN's Margaret DeMarco has more. It actually started in a school project that I had while I was in a graduate school. Ivan McDonald said the project was based around community engagement. They thought about doing a piece on suicide prevention, but they soon were headed in a different direction. One of the um, girls that was in our group um, brought to our attention that a woman was missing on the Crow Reservation, where she's from. Ivan enlisted his sister Ivy McDonald to help the group shoot the short documentary called When They Were Here. We always grew up like wanting to make a film together and so it just kind of gradually, you know, and I was in the program, the <clears throat> film program, so I, you know, we just kind of were like, oh, let's do this. Though for Ivy and Ivan, the documentary is a personal story that hits close to home. Interview my um, Uncle Kenny still smoking and my Aunt Carol, our cousin Monica still smoking, was kidnapped and murdered when she was um, seven, seven or eight years old from here on the Blackfeet Reservation. And in the investigation of Monica's death, the police, of course, didn't take it too seriously. The siblings realize the best way to educate non-Native individuals is through film and other media platforms. Ivan and Ivy have traveled across Montana to present when they were here. They say the most fulfilling part is the question and answer portion of the presentation. To finally be able to let people know that we matter and that we are here and it's it's a it's a good thing. And I knew right then and there that it was my mom. Through their work, they have found some of the issues lie with the justice system on tribal lands. These women fall through the cracks is because so many of those jurisdictional issues come into play where even if families seek justice, they won't often find it. In Browning, Margaret DeMarco, MTN News.